हेलो वेलकम बैक एग्जाम्पल सिक्स पॉइंट इलेवन सो स्टेटमेंट इज अ बीम हैज रेक्टेंगुलर क्रॉस सेक्शन एंड इज सब्जेक्टेड टू स्ट्रेस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन शोन इन दिस फिगर सिक्स पॉइंट टू फाइव ए डिटरमाइन द इंटरनल मूवमेंट एम एट द सेक्शन कॉज बाई स्ट्रेस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन यूजिंग फ्लेक्जर फार्मूला एंड बाई फाइंडिंग द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ स्ट्रेस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन यूजिंग बेसिक प्रिंसिपल so from this figure you can see the stress distribution is given over here at neutral axis it will be zero and maximum stress is 2 ksi the beam is rectangular in cross sections having width 6 and total height is 12 inch clear and what we have to find we have to find the internal movement by using flexor formula and the internal movement by using the stress distribution using basic principle so let's start with the solution so first we will solve it by using by flexor formula so what is flexor formula so flexor formula is simple this formula maximum stress is equal to movement into c divided by i so you can see you have this maximum stress which is 2 ksi we do not we we do not have movement we will find this c is distance from neutral axis to the topmost layer so this is equal to c and i we will find the uh, i for this rectangular cross section so we will write c is equal to 6 inch clear and we know that i is equal to 1 over 12 for rectangular cross section it is 1 over 12 bh cube so 1 over 12 b is breadth of this beam is 6 so 6 into height is 12 cube you can see this total height is 12 this is the total height which is 12 inch so when you calculate it you will get i will be equal to 864 inch power 4 now by using this flexor formula stress maximum is equal to m into c divided by i so we are interested in finding this m so m will be equal to maximum stress into i divided by c so you can simply just put the values this is uh 2 ksi ksi is uh i will write 2 kips per square inch is equal uh, into i which is 864 divided by c which is 6 inch 6 inch so when you solve this definitely you will get the movement and this movement will be equal to 288 kips into inch and when you convert it into feet so it will be we know that 1 feet is equal to 12 inch clear so 1 inch is equal to 1 over 12 feet okay so again 288 when divided by 12 will give you 24 kips into feet so this is the movement by using flexor formula 288 kips into inch and that will be equal to 24 kips into feet so this is the answer of our first part that is the find the movement using the flexor formula now we will find this movement by using the stress distribution stress distribution using basic principle so 
for that i will need this figure so i will copy it and will bring it downward will resize it okay so we have resize it now you can see that uh, this is a i will show you this distribution this is this area is this is volume or which this stress distribution occur clear so we will i will write it so that you can easily understand the resultant force for each the resultant force for each of each of the two triangular stress distribution shown in figure is graphically if you graphically represent it in term of force graphically this will be equivalent to volume contained within each stress distribution so this sentence has a importance you have to understand it what does it mean so this volume is equal to you can see that th there are two triangular volumes one is upward clear and one is downward and this volume when graphically represents it so this volume is actually force it to represent the force and this force is represented by vol vol volume of this uh, triangular so it will be equal to its base into its width multiplied by its height so you can see that the height is this one from neutral axis this is 6 so 1 over 2 base uh, sorry the base is this one 6 clear so 6 its height is you can see this is its height where we have 2 ksi so we'll write the values 1 over 6 inch into its height is 2 ksi i will write 2 ksi which will be equal to kips per inch square kips per inch square into its height which is uh sorry this is the height which is 2 kips per inch into width width is 6 inch so when you calculate it you will get this volume which is equal to the force and this force is equal to 36 kips now we have convert this volume triangular volume into force by using this formula so this is 36 kip now question will how, where this force will act clear so we will define that uh, this force will be act the at the centroid so centroid centroid of each volume is equal to 2 over 3 into its height from uh, its height from neutral axis so this height is 6 so 2 over 2 over 3 into 6 sorry correct it 2 over 3 this is the formula for triangular uh, uh, volume there so the centroid of triangular volume is 2 over 3 into its height from the uh, neutral axis so it will give you 4 inch now what does it it means that at a distance of 4 inch it will have a centroid clear so your force will act in this position and this height will be equal to 4 
this would be equal to 4 inch similarly in downward side when you go 4 inch so definitely this will be also 4 inch and your stress will be like this this force this is f now you can see that this 4 plus 4 this total distance is 8 inch and this due to this force and this force there is perpendicular distance 8 and it will cause the couple and it will cause the couple movement which you can find out by using this formula I will write this movement or couple will be equal to force into perpendicular distance so force is 36 kips into perpendicular distance is 8 inch which is equal to 288 kips into inch and when convert it into feet it will be 24 kips into feet so we have movement is equal to 288 kips into inch is equal to 24 kips into feet the same values but the method is different that is by using stress distribution method so this was all about example 11.6.11 i hope you have enjoyed this videos those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video i hope you have enjoyed this if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you